Yes, we are good. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to share with you uh, the program that I have available and um, how this fits into the program. So the program that I created was um, the Slim, Strong and Sexy Forever program. So this is really good for both busy men and busy women. And really it's designed to strip away the body fat, build up the muscle so that you build a strong foundation, strong metabolism so that you can lose the weight and keep it off forever, but also look and feel 10 years younger. And I did mention that I was a nutritionist. I am clinical. I've been doing this for 21 years. So it is it is actually something I'm super passionate about because I had to fix myself. Um, I started with osteoporosis at a very young age, and that's what led me to learning more about what is the optimal diet to help rebuild my bones? What is the optimal diet to actually balance my hormones so that I can get my menstrual cycle back, so I can build my bones, so I can have the family of my dreams and live the life that I knew I wanted. And so I was able to do that all natural. And from that time, I um, became you know, highly educated in my field, which is nutrition and detox and um, other things like exercise. I've helped tens of thousands of busy people um, also get the same results. And my goal was to make sure that you aren't going to wait 20 years to try and figure it out like I did and do all the training I did, which took a lot of time, a lot of resources, um, a lot of mental um, you know, time as well, not just physical time. Um, but really, I can shortcut your way so quickly where you can, uh, you know, don't follow the mistakes I made, but actually learn from the mistakes I did so that you know exactly what not to do and what to do that actually does work. And the program I was mentioning is nine steps um, and it does cover all the bases so that you do get strong and so that you do um, rearrange your body so that it will keep it off and you're strong for life. So it's going to actually seal in the goodness. I'm going to go straight to the training um, so today is step number seven out of my nine step plan. And I'm just going to go right to it right now. And then I will take breaks along the way to see if there's any questions that anyone here um, has. Actually, this is step eight out of step nine. Last week was all about mindset mastery, which is so important, especially in today's uh, day and age. Um, so yeah, so today is step eight out of step nine. My apologies. Um, and um, we are going to learn all about the top fat burning supplements that actually do work and also ones that don't so that you understand so that you are you are carefully armed to know exactly what to get to do exactly what you want it to do and for it to work. Um, so I'm, I'm going to just stop here and I'm going to see if anyone here um, has any questions Okay, good. I'm seeing a lot of people uh, chiming in here. So that's great. So I'm going to move over here for a second and I'm going to look to see. Okay, it'd be great to see if you if you write your names down. Um, I've got someone from Kamloops. Hello, Kamloops, BC. That's actually where my biological dentist was, Dr. Hugh uh, Thompson. Um, I traveled two hours to go see him with my family uh, to make sure that he took care of our teeth the right way. So Kamloops, love Kamloops. Ontario, Canada, love Ontario. Um, we have a mother-in-law there and it's awesome. And you can hear me loud and clear. So yeah, so remember, just ask as many questions as you can because remember, like this is your chance. When's the next time you're gonna go back and you're gonna go, oh, I wish I asked that question. You know what, there's never a bad question ever because some other people probably have the same question. So really, you know, with me, no judgment, ask the questions, I'm happy to answer. And hello, Larry from Iowa. So happy that you're here. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to my actual training and I'm going to uh, share my screen. One moment. As I'm sweating here, uh, and I'm in Cancun. No, I'm not, I'm in Playa de Carmen, Mexico now, back in my office. Okay, so on the screen, you likely can see uh, step eight out of step nine of my nine step plan. And today we're talking about supplements. So what I do want um, to share, first of all, is, um, is I want you to imagine for a moment, like really imagine the photo's not showing, but really if Charlie's angels, if Charlie's angels from the movie, Charlie's angels handed you a few potions that worked quickly 
like quickly to melt away, just literally melt away that unwanted body fat faster than you ever thought possible. And also how good you would feel, you know, 20 pounds lighter, 30 pounds lighter, like how much better you're going to feel with this off your body. Okay. And that's exactly what these supplements can really help you do on top of a healthy diet and lifestyle plan. Now, why aren't we where we want to be? Why aren't, uh, why is 88% of the uh, population um, medically unbalanced? That means why are we overweight? Why is most of the population overweight? When we have every technology on the planet to help us lose weight, we have every diet on the planet to help us lose weight. Why are we still 88% overweight? That, that is a question to ask because really that is an actual fact. Um, a lot of us are turning to the simple solution and that's basically why. Um, and the simple solution, unfortunately, are these medications or fat burning supplements that don't work. Um, and why don't they work? Well, the first reason out of three why they don't work is because they are made of fake chemical ingredients. Um, and I encourage you to grab your uh, supplements and really look at the ingredients, not the marketing on the top, not the marketing on the front of the package, but actually behind it and look at the ingredients. And it's, if it's a proprietary blend where they're not actually sharing the ingredients, that's a red flag. They really need to share with you exactly what is in the bottle. Okay, so um, this is a really good exercise for you to do, like be vigilant and look at that and with and with this type of savviness. So what I want you to do is look at them and um, a lot of them, because they're in they're they're um, they're less costly. So they're like more apt to buy, but also they have cheap ingredients. One of them would be take a look at if there's any dyes in there. Um, like F, D, and C, blue number two. We see that so often in these fat burning supplements or other supplements. Your supplements aren't really supposed to be um, fluorescent blue. If they are, you're putting chemicals in your body, which is actually setting you back in your health and not moving you forward like you'd like. Um, they also have things like um, sodium lauryl sulfate. That is actually... If you look under ewg.org, it will tell you that um, that is one of the um, ingredients that can lead to cancer over time. So remember, over time, and you're taking your supplements every day, sometimes two times a day, sometimes three times a day. So you're flooding your body with these chemicals that they are artificial. And if you eat artificial, take supplements that are artificial, you will feel artificial. This is the, if you can just take anything from today. Really take a look at your supplements and your diet. The more artificial ingredients you put in, that means not natural, that means not from Mother Earth, the more artificial you're going to feel. Okay, so the key is to really take a stop, take a look to see what there is, and then start to remove them and replace them with things that the body understands. Remember, your genes are expecting something that it recognizes. They are not recognizing these chemicals and they have to do something with them. And that is going to cause you inflammation and being overweight. Uh-huh, absolutely. Sodium starch gly glycolate, talc, titanium dioxide, okay? Iron oxide. Um, microcrystalline cellulose, gelatin. We don't need a lot of gelatin from fake chemicals, okay? So please look at that. So the first um, area I want you to do and look at is look at your ingredients. Second reason why most busy people fail uh, to get long-term results from their supplements is it's a fast and failed approach to weight loss because really uh, what happens when you stop taking your supplements and you're still eating and living the same way? You crash. We know that you crash. Um, and your your body's now even worse than it was because you haven't, you've spent all this time trying to take, trying to take these supplements to fix the problem when you could have spent it with a, a properly um, done nutrition plan or diet and really worked on your lifestyle habits like getting a good sleep. Okay. And so it's actually made it worse. And so I really want you to take a look at that and, and nail that in. Third reason why most busy people fail to get long-term results from their fat burning supplements or any supplements at all 
is what happens is these fat burners um, can, if they're stimulants, if they're full of stimulants, it will actually stop you from eating more than like, it'll stop you from eating. And it, what that means is if you're going to eat, if you're going to reduce your calories um, for too long of a time, then what happens is your body adapts to this lower calorie status. And then it will lower its metabolism to match that calorie status. And then what happens is, say, for example, you stop the supplements. Well, you wonder why you gain the weight back. It's because you've actually lowered your metabolism. And the key is to actually raise your metabolism. And you raise your metabolism by actually eating more <laughs> and exercising more and doing all the right things. But really, we want to be at a place where we can eat enough food to be satisfied and have a lot of energy during the day, have, feel very strong, okay, and have a great sleep. You know that your metabolism is, is really doing well when you can um, eat till you're satisfied and that you have an appetite. The appetite tells you that you're actually um, healthy and that your body needs uh, nutrients to be able to fuel the metabolism. You know, how do you feel when you're sick? You're not, you don't have an appetite. Well, that's what is stimulating. These, these fake supplements are stimulating you in an artificial way to actually be sick. Uh-huh. So we're not doing that here. This whole training is all about getting you strong and healthy so that you can lose the weight and keep it off for life. So I hope that that has opened up some eyes to maybe some questions. So I'm going to actually stop this and I'm going to go back to some questions and I'm going to answer them right now. So I'm going to actually bring them up. So I have a question here um, from a Facebook user and I'd love to know who you are. <laughs> um, but anyways, thank you so much for asking the question. If you don't have all the right combination of supplements, is it still okay to take the ones you have? you do have at that time, or do you wait? A hundred percent wait. Because what if you're taking things that are setting you back and it's giving you a false sense of freedom and you're, yeah, you're not moving ahead, you're moving back. And so I would instantly with this information, stop what you're doing, find someone who can help you really look at what you're taking and go, listen, like actually these two, um, they actually cancel each other out. <laughs> and so you're not getting anything. You know, they're competing with each other or this one is not in the right ratio of this one. Two examples would be calcium and magnesium. They really need to be taken together in the right ratio. OK, especially if you have osteoporosis or osteopenia or if you have any joint pain, you really need to pay attention to that ratio. The other one would be vitamin D, vitamin D. I see this all the time. Taking vitamin D on its own without K2 is actually setting yourself up for putting plaque into the arteries, setting yourself up for cardiovascular disease, setting yourself up for a stroke, for a heart attack. Why? Because vitamin D is like allowing calcium to be entered into the body. It, it, it allows for the shuttling of calcium, which is really, really good for the bones and everything else. But what happens is if it's not, um, if you don't take K2 in the right ratio of vitamin D, then um, the calcium is just floating around and it will typically go into the blood, into the arteries and the blood vessels. We don't want that. We want um, the traffic controller, which is vitamin K2, to bring the calcium in that's released from vitamin D into the bones, into the teeth, into where it needs to go. It's the traffic controller. Now you have a perfect system. D3, K2, 10 to 1 ratio. And if you need more help, please let me know, especially if you have osteoporosis, if you have immune issues, or if you're taking vitamin D, more than 5,000 IUs, because it can be dangerous, all right? And the medical establishment, some have caught on and been sharing this, but it takes about 20 years for them to learn this material and feel comfortable sharing it. So what we know as... Um, in the field of nutrition, we're right on top of the latest research. We study it, we look at clinical uh, outcomes, and then we actually share it. Um, we share it right away, okay? So you can you can look at this, but really D3, K2 is what you're looking for. Um, thank you for asking that. So I would wait. So this other question is, is the chemicals in our food that aren't banned in Canada, but is, is is it the chemicals in our food that aren't banned in America, but banned in other countries? Yeah, so chemicals. So that's a good question. So we want to make sure that we 
eat and live clean. Okay. And that includes our supplements. And so some countries ban certain chemicals and some countries don't really what you want to do is the golden, the one place is the hub of all are, are these chemicals like that harmful is ewg.org. They are the watchdog of all chemicals that are, that are released into our atmosphere and into our food and everything. They're the watchdogs. They are the place to go to actually um, type in the chemical that's e either in your food, your package or your supplement. And it will actually tell you um, how risky it is to consume that um, and what it's linked to. Okay. Um, so the cleaner you can eat, the cleaner you can live, the cleaner you can put, put, you know, have supplements that are natural, the cleaner you're going to look and feel and the better the outcomes. I hope I answered that right. So if there's any more questions, if not, I'm going to move on to the training now. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to share my screen. Right now. Okay, so we are going to talk about some um, supplements that will actually help you go from no fat burning results to waking up feeling cleaner, slimmer, and feeling sexier in your skinny jeans, even your bikini or your bathing suit. Okay, that's the whole key is you're actually going to get results with these. And um, anyone here that's watching this, if you do want my cheat sheet, it's the ultimate no BS fat burning supplement guide. Happy to pass that on. Um, it will actually give you, um, you know, just a sheet, cheat sheet of what to get and why to get them and why you get them um, so that you get results right away. It's just like a one page. Let's talk supplements. Um, so what I want um, to share with you is, first of all, the secret to slim, the secret to slim that goes beyond your healthy diet and your exercise plan. And that is the right fat burner. Absolutely. You do want an edge because listen, food is where we are surrounded by food all the time. OK, and we're in an environment where it's so easy just to sit all day. It's nice to have a bit of an edge to be able to go, you know, the days that I did sit around, the days that maybe I went off my plan. At least I got like my SWAT team that's kind of working with me. OK, and so these do help. All right. The times that you do fall off. Um, so that you can keep looking in the mirror, feeling proud of yourself because you're back on track and you know your supplements have helped you out during the time that they needed them to, okay? So, but I do want to start by having you think differently about um, fat loss. You know, fat loss seems to be um, so difficult to achieve and keep it off for life, but really it's so easy. It is so easy. If you just look at it these this way, think differently and look at it this way. If you do these three things, you will achieve healthy fat loss and you will keep it off for life. The first key is you must, must mitigate inflammation. A body that has high inflammation will have a very difficult time releasing the weight. Why? Because the body, it actually thinks it has an infection. The immune system is um, upregulated and it is going after the infection. It is not going after burning fat. It has stopped that and it's going into a different action. Okay. Cause it really thinks that you are, uh, you're sick. And so um, your diet and lifestyle and supplements really should really help to lower the inflammation so that it is um, not on, it's not chronic. Okay. We want acute inflammation, which is every now and again, the body becomes inflamed to kill off an infection or to you know, heal a wound, but not everyday inflammation. Now, if you are overweight, you already have inflammation because the fat cells actually release inflammatory markers called cytokines. So your body always thinks it's inflaming. It always thinks it has inflammation. And so you wanna make sure that when you're on these supplements, you really do um, get the diet that's right for you. When I say diet, I mean nutrition plan, I mean feeding your body right where you're not um, starving, where you're actually feeling satiated and happy with the foods you're enjoying, but they're, that they're actually releasing the weight, okay? Because there is a way to do this. Um, and then you'll find that as you start to lose the fat, the inflammation goes down, and then you'll start to see results and they will stay. So we wanna make sure the inflammation is, um, is not chronic, okay? Then we also wanna make sure that we're always balancing our blood sugar. 
Fat loss has everything to do with balancing blood sugar. What we don't want to see is are these huge blood sugar surges, really up, really down, really up, really down. Anytime your blood sugar goes high up, you stop the ability to burn fat. Now, if you're doing that throughout the day, you have very little chance of burning any fat at all. And so you want to make sure that you are um, keeping an eye on the blood sugar and making sure they're just tiny little hills instead of big mountains. OK, um, and so there are supplements that help with that. But also remember the diet and the lifestyle will as well. So we talked about inflammation, keeping that at bay. We talked about balancing blood sugar. And now we're going to talk about this other way of losing fat. We got to build the muscle. We got to build the muscle. This is the third way that we're going to be able to lose, lose fat and keep it off for life. Why? Because the more muscle you have on your body, the quicker, faster the fat loss for life. Why? Because the muscle needs more calories. The muscle needs to be fueled. The muscle raises your metabolism. You're actually burning more calories at rest when you have more muscle on your body than if you have less. And so um, you're also burning more calories while you sleep. That is the easiest, fastest way to keep it off for life is having more muscle on your body so that you can always be at a good slim figure and look amazing. I mean, don't tone bodies look great. Okay. So I hope that that's really hit home. I'm actually going to stop the training, right? Stop um, my screen share now. And I'm going to go back to seeing if there's any more questions because really that I just laid a really good amount of information there. And if there's any questions from what I've just said, I'm happy to answer them right now. And if not, I'm going to keep going. Okay. So I don't see any more questions. I'm going to go back to my, my, uh, my presentation. Okay. So what are the supplements that were, are prone that will help with, um, lowering inflammation that will help with balancing blood sugar that will help with, um, building muscle? Well, of course, protein powder or protein, Remember, protein powder is a supplement. It's supplementing regular protein um, into a powder form. And so this is incredible to take um, because what it does is it stops muscle breakdown. It can actually put more muscle on your body so that you can lose the fat. It also assists in detoxification. So when you are consuming foods uh, that have chemicals, your body has this natural way of eliminating them, the chemicals out of the body if you, you know, if your detoxification pathways are open. Uh, one of the ways to do that is to take enough protein because you need the amino acids for proper detoxification to flood out the toxins. What do the toxins do? They actually cause inflammation. So now we're draining the body of the toxins, we're adding the protein to build the muscle and we're supporting detoxification, okay? It's also going to protein powder, the right protein powder for you will actually help to enhance your immune system. Now, this is really important because um, you, when you feel well, you're more apt to work out and then you're more apt to eat well. When you're not well, you're not apt to work out and you're not apt to eat well. So this is really going to support with fat loss. Plus, it's super easy to digest. So those that have digestive problems, 100%, I'd recommend taking a smoothie a day because it's super easy to digest. The next um, fat burning supplement that I recommend and I know these aren't ones that you would typically see, but you know what? This isn't a typical show. This gives you the real information instead of the hyped up stuff that trying to sell you something that really isn't going to move the dial. This does move the dial. What is it? Creatine. Oh my goodness. This is so incredible. I, see, I take this as well. I take the protein. I take this. What creatine does, it's remarkable to actually improve your energy systems in your body. We call them mitochondria. These mitochondria are little bacteria within your cells and they make your energy for you. Okay. You're enhancing, you're feeding them, you're supporting them. So you do have more energy. So when you have more energy, you are more apt to do what? Exercise, feed yourself well, have good brain power. Yes. Creatine is incredible for the brain. In fact, it is brain food. It's, it really helps improve cognitive function. And they have done numerous studies of this. This is one of the most highly studied supplement of all time, creatine. You do want to make sure you take creatine monohydrate. Um, so th these are the ones that um, I have available for my clients, along with the protein. 
but really you're going to want to think about taking creatine and it's also going to help you with lean body mass. What is that? More muscle, less body fat. And it's going to stop muscle breakdown. Now, as you age, you are normally breaking down muscle. So now you're combating that with creatine. Yeah, creatine and protein powder are two, a one-two punch to helping you get your results and keep it for life. Okay. Now we're going to go to the gut. You know how important is the gut uh, to burning fat. Why is why do I say that? Because so much of you getting lean is is all about the right gut microbes in your gut that actually have been linked to lean people. Um, what the studies have shown that there are a particular strain of uh, bacteria in lean people called bacteroides. They have a higher population of bacteroides and a lower population of firmicutes. This is a known fact that if you can bring up the bacteroides species by taking things like HMF metabolic, it's a probiotic specific to do this, then you know that you're going to clearly start to melt away the fat and allow for a proper immune function. So it has a dual effect. Not only will it help to burn body fat, it will actually help to modulate the immune system. So if you have autoimmune, you are fine. You are not um, setting, you have to be careful with autoimmune with supplements you take because you could be setting yourself up for more autoimmune. This one here modulates the immune system so it's safe for autoimmune. It's also gonna allow you to absorb the foods from your healthy diet and you'll get more results from your workouts by actually supporting your digestive tract, okay? And so one thing about this is make sure when you do uh, take your probiotics, uh, this that they're from a human microflora strain, not an animal strain. We don't want to take probiotics that were from an animal source. Why? Because they're not compatible to humans. They are not. We need a human strain, okay? And this particular product is actually clinically proven in double-blind placebo-controlled studies. In fact, it shows it has the effect that we're looking for. And so most probiotics do not work. They are a waste of time. Most, you have to go with the ones that are actually shown to have that result. And I know this one does because I've seen the research. I've been with a researcher, uh, Dr. Nigel Plummer, many times, and this is the one that gets results, which is what you're looking for. Now we're going to go to number four. So number four, oh, I love this. I learned this from the bodybuilding community. Um, and how bodybuilders are able to get lean and be stage ready. It's acetyl L-carnitine. It's incredible. It's an amino acid that actually shuttles your body fat. Get this, your body fat. It will grab it and put it into the mitochondria to provide the mitochondria with energy and you with energy so that you have more energy and you burn fat just by taking this. Yeah, this is not a stimulant. Remember, this is not anything chemical. No, it's not. It's an amino acid that we need more of to be able to burn fat. Yes, of course I take this. <laughs> this is my SWAT team because, hey, I like things like bread and I like to stay lean, but I also eat really well and take care of myself. But listen, I like to have a competitive edge and this is exactly what it does for me. And I know it also helps with muscle recovery. Remember, we need to build muscle to burn the fat. So, and this will actually help with recovery so that you don't have the pain and the inflammation um, after you train. Because really, how often can you train them? You have to wait till you're repaired to go back. That's not a way to enjoy your workouts because really working out should be a lot of fun. Um, and it needs to be your fun place. Um, and if it's not, then we need to find a program that is because, or a different exercise that still builds muscle that you love to do. Because if you do, you'll be consistent and you will get results. So again, this is something that I do in my programs is I help clients go on programs that they love and, and it builds the muscle, burns the body fat, everybody is happy, um, including their loved ones because they see a result, okay? So it's important. Anyways, this will help with muscle recovery. It also offsets um, damage from the muscle. Um, we want to do that because uh, every time you work out, you are slightly damaging the muscle. This helps repair it quicker, faster, so that you can build more muscle. Okay, and so it's gonna help you get lean and strong. And now our last one is uh, one of my favorites, of course, because we did talk about blood sugar control. 
remember, anytime you raise blood sugar, you have stopped fat burning in its tracks. So we need to modulate it. We need to make sure that it's managed. We need to make sure that our blood sugar is stable and it doesn't have these speaks, these uh, spikes. Um, and that it has to have little slight, slight rolling hills instead of big, big mountains. Um, and so this um, berberine is an herb. This is a natural herb. And berberine has been shown to not only balance blood sugar, it actually helps to increase the bacteroides species in the gut by getting rid of the pathogenic organisms. So that not only are you balancing blood sugar and burning fat, you are actually supporting your immune system by getting rid of those nasty pathogenic organisms that make you sick. Um, so I, this is something I'm always taking. I go on and off. Of course, you don't want to take the same thing all the time. Um, but for sure, I take this so that I can have my bread. I do have wine and I really love it. And this helps to balance my blood sugar while I have my wine. But again, I am very clean with my diet and lifestyle. So I feel I have a very good relationship with food and everything else. So this just helps support me so that I can have my treats as well. Okay. Um, so I'm going to stop this. I know I've shared a lot with you and I'm going to go back to um, questions. So I know there's going to be a lot. Because actually, one thing about me is I do rapid fire. <laughs> I um, I want to give you as much information as I can in a short period of time. If you have questions, please let me know. Um, because this is, you know, uh, your time is valuable. Okay. Um, so that's one thing about me is what I do. So where here's the question here. I'm going to put it on the screen. Where does alcohol factor into all this? Can you have a beer or a glass of wine during this time? Okay. So it depends. If I see clients. So I see clients with all sorts of health conditions. Um, and if I see cirrhosis of the liver or if, they, or if they're an alcoholic and they're trying to get off alcohol, if they have autoimmune, um, so certain conditions are uh, not right now, but later. <laughs> it's not a never no. It's not right now, but later. Yes. Let's heal the body. Let's let's heal this wound. Let's get the body strong. Then what we'll do is we're going to go back to um, having some alcohol and beer, but not just any alcohol and beer. OK, just like with any food, there are quality. OK, so, for example, if you don't have autoimmune, if you're um, if you don't have cirrhosis of the liver, if you're not an alcoholic <laughs> um, and you're otherwise healthy, but you just want to lose some fat. No problem at all. Um, what we're going to want to do is then have wine, but make sure it's high altitude Malbec um, from Argentina. And if you're going to have beer, make sure sure that it's from a non-GMO source. So then what you're doing is you're feeling good about the liquid. I call it vitamin W for, for, um, for wine because it can be very nutrition, nutritious if it's the right type of wine, right? Because it's actually liquid sunshine. Remember, it's grown in high altitudes. It is capturing the sunlight and it's making these high polyphenols, which are actually really anti-aging for the body, supports cardiovascular system if it's from a high altitude organic Malbec. Now we're talking nutrition. And so you're going to consume this one beautiful glass of red wine, or maybe two, not more than that. And you're going to take your berberine with that. You'll take your acetyl carnitine and you'll take one other thing. I'm trying to think, oh, a liver support. Um, once you do that, you're taking care of your liver. You're taking care of your blood sugar. And you're making sure that you're kind of biohacking your way to having some of this wine. So then you can have the wine, you can have your food, and you will still get lean and keep it off for life. Okay, this is how I do it with my clients, and it works like gangbusters. Beer, same thing. Um, so that's how it would factor in. Hopefully that's answered that. And if you have any more questions, please let me know. Um, Sorry, late question. How many times a week do you recommend for weight training? Okay, again, it depends. So the programs that I do are very customized, but I'm just going to give you the short and dirty answer. Uh, short and dirty answer is this. If you have never weight trained ever in your life, you're actually doing, you're, you're going to get results quicker, faster than someone that, that has had, that has been training for a long time because it's a whole new stimulant to the body and the body responds like this. So I recommend one day a week just to start. One day a week, start your weight training program, and you're going to want to do a foundational program, not just arms, not just legs. No, 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 not just parts. You're not parts. You're a whole body. So you want to get the whole body workout, and you want to really want to focus on practicing the movement. It's a skill. Weight training is a skill. It's not going there to burn body fat. It's going there to learn the skill to be able to get healthy, to be able to get strong, to then be able to be at your best health and physique. 
Okay. So I really want to reframe how you even look at weight training. So yeah, if you haven't weight trained at all, one day a week, and I provide my clients with a full body workout with videos and, and training, and I walk them through it. It's amazing. In fact, I've got someone, um, starts with an M and I'm going to be showing her, uh, her workout routine today. And then I've got another one starting with an A and a D on Friday. So I've got, you know, I have a, a bunch of clients right now. I'm only looking for two more. So if you're looking at um, hiring me to help you with a customized plan, I would jump now because I only take, I only taking two more spots. So yeah. So send me a message after this and we can have the conversation. But anyways, if you are training one day a week already, then I would go to two. Yeah. And I would separate them by one day or two days, but not more than two days. Okay. Um, there's reasons for that too. Um, um, if you're training two days a week, then I would go to three, but you only need three because more than that is overtraining and you're, you're, you're working harder than you need to. In fact, you're setting yourself back because you're lowering your immune system. That's past the tipping point. So ideally three at later down the road, if you love it, but if you don't really like it and you know, it's going to be good for you, then I would just do one. Because all you have to do is tell the whole body, okay, muscles start to build, and then you're going to do a weight training program to do that, and they will build for you, okay? But you've got to send this, the a signal to build, and it's really just one day a week to start, then two, then three, or just one day a week, okay? So hopefully that's answered, but we do need to do this, okay? Those with osteoporosis, those with diabetes, those with autoimmune, everybody needs to get strong, and we do that by resistance training or weight training. I love that question. Um, okay, so yeah. Oh, and this is another great question. I love this. When is the best time to take supplements? There is a best time. <laughs> so first of all, um, the protocols that I provide will be a time when you take them away from food and there'll be a time you take them with food for them to work. So you've really got to pay attention to um, your practitioner who's put you on them or wherever you found them, you read the label. If it doesn't tell you, then I'd be asking, like, does this really work? Because it really should say with meals or away from food. If not, then it's likely a cheap product and you, I would maybe not take it or find out if it's going to be good or not. You can reach out to me. Um, but anyways, for example, um, all my clients, they start to clean the body out while they heal and seal it. So when they clean the body out, we take these drops that clean the liver, kidney, gut, that has to be away from food, only 15 minutes, but really, because it's sending the message to the body to release the toxins and get it out of the body so that they feel good, right? Well, if we have a meal with that, it's not gonna give that information. And so it's a waste of time. That's why um, they take it away from food. But certain supplements you must take with food because the food shuttles the nutrition into where it needs to go. One example would be probiotics. Probiotics must be taken with food to be able to buffer the stomach, to then be able to go into the intestine, to then be able to increase it by bacteroides, to then be able to burn fat and have your immune system optimal. Um, so that is the short and dirty answer. Okay. It, it really, really matters. Um, if it says with food and it's zinc, zinc is best at night because if you take zinc with vitamin C at night, then you're actually, while you're sleeping, you're actually going to have the added benefit of cleaning up the microbes. This one I learned from a doctor um, in the gut, uh, gastrointestinal health. And she said that for her patients, zinc, vitamin C as part of the evening meal not during the day. Okay. So that's one. Um, another one is antioxidants. If you are on antioxidants and, um, you have worked out, make sure that you wait at least 30 minutes or more before you take your antioxidants. Why? Because your body releases its own antioxidants. They're called endogenous after you work out. You don't want to blunt that by taking external antioxidants. No, you want to support the body in what it's doing naturally and then add a little more, okay? That's how we, when we learn about the body and what it needs, this is how we stay young and have tons of energy. I guess like me, I have so much energy. You can probably tell. Um, and I'm 54 and it gets better and better. Anyways, um, so wait 30 minutes or more until you take your antioxidants after working out. That includes eating as well. You don't want to eat right after training. That is a mistake. No, we want to make sure our food and our supplements 
are at least 30 or more minutes after exercise. Because again, what happens is after you exercise, you have primed the body to upregulate growth hormone, which is our anti-aging hormone, like the mother of anti-aging hormones. You get a spike in growth hormone. So that's going to give you an added edge. Um, plus, you're going to get a spike in testosterone, um, which is going to help with osteoporosis and libido and, and muscle growth, right? Um, but if you eat right after, you've blunted that. So again, you want to wait at least 30 minutes or more than you eat. There's more to it than that, but that's something to think about. And I love that question. That's really good. Um, so the next question is, um, when do you take the berberine before or after meals? Okay. Oh, I love this question. Yeah, it depends. So here's what I want, how I want you to think about berberine. Berberine is going to actually lower your blood sugar. It will naturally lower. When do you want to lower your blood sugar? That is the question. When do I want to lower my blood sugar? If I want to lower my blood sugar, I'm going to take berberine. So here are ways, some strategies to use berberine. Number one, if you want to fast for longer. So if you do intermittent fasting, like I recommend all my clients do, which really we all need to do. Um, so I'll recommend how many hours for uh, intermittent fasting. So here we have a goal of here's how many hours we want to intermittent fast based on your age and your goal. Okay. So then what we do is to get them to that amount and say they're struggling a little bit with their blood sugar and it's not really, I'm feeling like I'm hungry. It will actually extend the fast. It will be a supplement that extend the fast so that you can actually do the intermittent fasting, burn fat, build muscle, the whole thing. Um, the other time is if you have diabetes. If you have diabetes, then you know that any time you eat, you have this surge in blood sugar called the post -prianial, um blood sugar surge. You know you're going to have that after eating. So then you're going to want to take berberine after eating so that it balances it so that you don't get fatter. You do. You'll get fatter if you do that. Sorry, but it's true. Um, and I just tell it the way it is out of love. This is who I am. I just say it the way it is, but I really do love you. Um, so you're going to take it after that so that you modulate so that you can not gain weight, right? The other thing you can do is go for a walk for 20 minutes after eating. It'll do the same thing, but why not do both? For me, I love wine and I gave up wine for about a year while I had to fix myself because I was a sugar junkie. I was hooked on sugar because I was lowering my calories where I was like hangry all the time. And then I just grabbed sugar to raise my, because I was going to like rip somebody's head off. That wasn't a way to live, by the way, but I fixed all that. Um, <laughs> hi, I love this. I love you too. Um, so anyways, I was a sugar junkie. Like I have stories that I'm not going to tell you right now, but oh my God, I was just, whoa. Anyways, um, so I gave up wine for a whole year. I gave up fruit, all sugar, all everything to fix myself. And I did. Now I'm like, best I've ever felt. Now I look at wine differently. I look at it like, you know what? This is liquid nutrition. It's feeding my soul. It's feeding. It's, I love this. And I, I give it the love it needs and the relationship it needs. So one or two glasses, I'm done. Okay. Um, but I'll have my berberine with it because I know anytime I'm going to have my beautiful Malbec from a high altitude, um, highly polyphenol wine, I'm going to raise my blood sugar. Okay, because it's like alcohol and it's sugar. So I take berberine and it balances it out so I can have my berberine with my wine. Okay, happy girl. So that would really, really help you as well. Um, so if you need more information, let me know. But yeah, this is what I do and what I recommend. Great question. Um, hi, I love this. Oh, I love that you're here. This is so great. Um, okay, so the next question is, when fasting, do you take berberine at start of the fast or wanting to prolong the fast? Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, so why don't you prolong the fast or the start of the fast? Um, so I take mine uh, first thing in the morning. I just keep it really, really easy um, because I take berberine. Because, why do I take it? Because uh, first of all, I uh, like to modulate my blood sugar. I do because it's been a weak point of mine for a long time. Um, and so I will take mine when I wake up. I have a little basket because I keep it easy right in my bathroom. I did a video on this and I will take my berberine my liver support um, and so my blood sugar, which is my berberine, my liver support and some minerals because I used to have osteoporosis and I'm really keeping my bones strong. So I will take that first thing in the morning, every morning. And then now I'm done. Now I'll fast for 14, 16, sometimes 18 hours. So you could take it first thing in the morning to prolong a fast, or if you start getting hungry, maybe pop a few of them in and then see how your body responds so that you can extend the fast. 
And you want to extend it to the point of at least uh, 16 hours, really. That's where the research is to be able to burn fat and do cellular cleanup. Remember, if you are eating all the time, you are never cleaning up your body. The body is always trying to release the enzymes to break down the food when really eat, stop, eat, eat, stop. When you stop, you clean the body up. Cellular cleanup. It's our natural way to clean the body up. So if you're eating every two hours, really, we need to look at this. It's not healthy and it's not your fault. You were, um, you were misinformed by the food industry <laughs> trying to sell you stuff and everyone else trying to sell you stuff. That's not how we're designed to live. We're designed to eat like our ancestors and then be able to go long periods of time without eating again. That's healthy. Okay. That's a strong metabolism. That's what we're going for. Um, love your energy. This is a great talk. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. I love this. So I'm going to go back to finishing the training again. Um, if you like this and you want to dive deeper and you really want to take a look at what you're doing so you're not spinning your wheels anymore and you really want to get your results because you know you have something better, you know you want to show up in a way that is, you're more proud. You know that when you go to bed, you want to go, listen, I did it. What's next? This is how we live our life fun with adventure and, and people feel this and they want to be around you. You have more friends. You have more influence, everything. You're a great role model. Like It is the best because if you look back and you don't, what's going to happen? We all, we need everyday heroes. We do. We need more people to stand up and go, listen, this life is meant to be lived and we all need to help each other do this. Right. And so it starts with you. You're not going to wait for someone else. No, it's you. You are the one, just like me. I'm accountable to myself um, and my family. So um, it's good to have accountability and just get started really. And if you do get a hold of me, I'm happy to start the conversation to see if we're fit together. Um, Okay, so I'm going to go back to my training right now, and I'm going to just make sure that we are there. Yeah. Okay. So it looks like I am on my screen. I was going to double check. Um, I want to make sure my screen is showing up, and then I'm going to move to the next one. Maybe it's not. Okay. I'm going to go back to if someone can let me know if my screen is showing and if not, I'm going to um, pull it up. So sorry, one moment. And I'm going to answer your question about natural testosterone. I see that. That's good. Yeah. I have a lot to say about that too. Okay. So I know I have my screen up now. Okay. So I did end in, you know, I shared with you the five supplements and these aren't ones that you would normally see, are they? No, because these are the ones that the body actually does need to help you um, get stronger, build m metabolism to then be able to burn the body fat, not this quick fix stimulant, stop the appetite. Yeah, lose the weight. Yeah, what else are you losing? Your muscle mass, your bones. We don't want to lose that. No, our brains. No, we need to get strong. Okay. And so that's what protein powder will do. The right type of protein powder for you. And if anyone has any questions on which is the best for them, I'm happy to recommend. Again, creatine. No one talks about this enough. Well, we need to. Creatine monohydrate, what does it do? Supports the brain and the energy system so that you can get to the gym one or two times a week, maybe three, and be able to burn the fat and build the muscle and feel like freaking amazing. We gotta remember the probiotic, but not any probiotic. No, you need a human microflora strain, one that is particular for actually raising the amount of um, uh, uh, bacteroides species in the intestinal tract and knocking off the firmicutes so that you have a healthy uh, population that is going to work for you uh, to be able to, to actually make vitamins for you. They make vitamin B12. What is that for? Nervous system. Um, so all these things. So we're going to want to think about that. Now, this is my, my secret sauce to uh, burning body fat, an amino acid called L-carnitine. I learned from the bodybuilding industry and it really, really works well. You got to take enough of it and you got to take it away from food. Yes, it does matter. Um, and again, um, if anyone has questions, let me know, but you, you're going to want to take this. And then of course, of course, the berberine, especially if you have diabetes, if you want to prolong your fast, if you want to support the uh, digestive tract for the immune system. And if you like to have wine, like I do, and if you like to have bread, like I do, I do all these things. I have no, I'm not deprived at all. I'm very, very healthy. And, um, I don't, I just eat my body craves foods that are healthy for it. And this is where I got to, but it took a while to get here. It doesn't matter. I got here and I'm here for life. And you know, short period of time I'm here and I can show you as well. So you don't spin your wheels anymore. Now, 
anyone here, I'm happy to put an order together for you um, with the right ones that you um, are okay with, of course. We would have a conversation. I can help you find the right ones. I can help you with the dosages. I can help you um, order it and it'll be drop shipped right to your door. Because here, we are busy people. And why would you want to spend the time trying to find the supplement that's best for your body, trying to order it, trying to find the lane, trying to, you know, do all these things. It'll save, save you hours and hours of time when you can just book a call with me, 15, 20 minutes. We can do it all at once. It'll be shipped to your door and you are good to go. Okay. So my question to you is it's time to take action because here um, action takers um, get results. And if you just listen and don't take action, that's where things fall off the rails. And you know that. And so if you're someone who isn't normally an action taker, you know what? You can reinvent yourself. You can actually start. I'm the type of person that does take action when it feels right for me. So um, I encourage you to take action. Just take one action step from today's talk, um, whether it be maybe research, research one of those supplements. Maybe you start to look at um, the ingredients in your supplements to actually see if um, there's any of those nasties in there, like all the chemicals, just do a quick stop. Maybe it's making a call with me and saying, listen, this is where I'm at. This is where I want to go. Can you help me get there? Of course I can. Um, and it just takes one action step. So this is what's going to make your healthy habits stick. Okay. So this is what's going to move the dial. All right. Um, and I want to share that. I have been, I wasn't always healthy. I was fit my whole life and I never paid attention to what I was eating, how I was living. And I developed a very accelerated aging disease when I was quite young. And the answers weren't, oh, they were all medical and it didn't make sense because a drug is not going to fix my diet. A drug is not going to fix my lifestyle and a drug is not going to fix my, my brain. So what is going to, well, what is my best? It's got to be diet is something I'm eating. Well, of course I was eating processed food and sugar and all the wrong things because that's what was around all the time. Plus that's what was advertised on TV and it was looked like fun and it got me into trouble. And so I literally <sighs> hired the, I spent my time finding the answer and I didn't stop until I did. And so once I did, then I was able to create a plan and help other people. So I know what it feels like to feel like crap. I know what it feels like, but I know what it feels like to feel amazing. I'd rather feel amazing than feel like crap. And if this is you, then please reach out to me. I know what it feels like. So anyways, I'm going to um, answer more questions here. So the question is natural testosterone booster for men. Yes, there are. Um, weight training. We know weight training is going to be a natural testosterone booster for men. Um, also sex. So having orgasms is going to be a natural testosterone booster for men. Um, the other one is um, zinc. We need enough zinc, 25 to 30 milligrams of zinc. Remember um, after dinner, that will really help. Um, and zinc rich foods, which would be oysters, would be really important as well. Um, eggs have some zinc in them. Um, pumpkin seeds, really good for men's uh, testosterone and men's um their uh, sexual organs and um you know horny goat weed is, has been shown not to be efficacious for men but healthy for women for their testosterone but not men so if you're a woman and you want to build testosterone then you can look at horny goat weed and if it's men then i'd be looking at maca would be one as well but really i would say uh, weight training would be number one um, and then making sure your zinc are optimal would be number two and um, having regular sex would be number three um, and getting your sleep because we know cortisol when we're stressed lowers testosterone. So how's your stress? How's your sleep? So I'd be looking at that. If you want more help, let me know. I love that question. Um, okay. Right. The slides, they weren't showing and now they are. I really appreciate that. Okay. So, uh, well, we're, we've got five minutes. Um, if there's any more questions, even Rona, if you have a question, I know you're on the line. See, Rona's been with me for a while and she just likes to learn stuff. So I'm calling her from Kelowna, BC, because uh, I work all over the world and um, I've got Rona on the phone and I always appreciate her to be with me when I do these trainings. She's doing great. Um, so Rona, if you have a question, that's good. So I have another question here. What did you say for women and natural testosterone? Okay. 
we need to build our testosterone up. You know you have good testosterone if you have good libido. Libido. Um, yeah. So if you have good libido, you have good testosterone typically, or get tested and it will show you if you have good levels of testosterone. Um, if you have osteoporosis, you've got to build the testosterone up because what does that do? Builds the bone. Um, and so with natural testosterone, ways to build it up is weight training. If you have osteoporosis, you're going to want to build your body up to be two to three times a week because you have to do double duty. But you have to do it in a way that's strategic and where you're not breaking down more than you're building up. And this is exactly what I do. I put my clients on programs so that they're building up more than they are breaking down because then you're adapting to get stronger instead of lowering your immune system and getting like overtraining. Plus, I make it fun because uh, you have to love what you do. So weight training, okay? Zinc, I, I like, it would really be important, okay? Enough zinc is going to be the building blocks for testosterone. So 25 to 30 milligrams, not more than that, of zinc, ideally as part of your evening regime, okay? Um, and then um, horny goat weed. Horny goat weed is more um, selective for women and less selective for men. So you want to make sure your horny goat weed would be good. Uh, maca is good for both. Um, good for men and women. So maca, I have uh, protein bars with chocolate that have maca powder in them. You need gelatinized maca, not raw maca. Raw maca is going to be a gut irritant. We don't want raw. We want gelatinized maca powder. Um, so, and then stress. If you feel like you, your stress is too high, then we've got to lower that stress and have it manageable because stress is actually really good to have because it keeps you up and motivated and, and like excited and all those things. But if it wears you down, you've got too much, right? Um, also, if your sleep is tanked, you know you're too stressed. So we want to make sure your solid sleep, your st you've got stress mastery so that you're excited about life. And so that way, when you do, cortisol stays managed. So it's at, it's being released at the right time with the right amounts. And so is testosterone because they actually work together. Cortisol goes up, testosterone can go down, but it goes the other way too. So they actually, these are hormones that are really important for uh, really good health and fat loss. So you want to make sure they're well balanced. Again, those are great questions. If you have more, let me know. And then um, I heard men should take maca. Yeah. Well, um, yes, it's an adaptogen. It's good on and off. So we don't want to take it all the time, but it's really good for as an adaptogen helps you manage stress, which then helps the testosterone levels. It's really good for libido. Definitely one thing we good for, and it tastes good. Okay. So I like it in powder and I put it um, in my, my protein bars. So I have a recipe called perfect protein bars. So you make your, do your own protein bars. I don't like the store bought protein bars. They're first of all, they don't taste as good. And second of all, they're not as good as the ones that I make. And these are really simple to make. So if you, they're part of the recipe book that I provide for my clients so that they're fully uh, prepared to get results very quickly and having more fun doing it too. So um, how much sleep do you recommend? Yeah. So the programs that I recommend are always circadian based, which means you're going to work with your body. So I'm going to have to, oh, there, um, I lost the connection, but I'm back. So sleep. Yeah. So in the summertime, you want to make sure that you're getting eight hours of solid sleep. You need less in the summer than you do in the winter. Okay. Cause it's a longer light cycle. So our bodies just need eight hours solid sleep. And then in the winter, it's 9.5. This is all uh, research based. And so in the winter, we sleep more in the summer, we sleep less. And ideally, Give yourself a fighting chance by going to bed around 10 a.m., maybe 10.30. If you do, your growth hormone will pulse between 12 and 2 a.m., and you're going to actually be able to burn fat, build muscle so much quicker, faster. If you actually get that sleep um, and you're really sleeping by 12, p 
12 to 2 a.m., you're going to see double the results if you actually are into that deep sleep around 12 to 2. So if you can just work your way back to, okay, I'm going to make sure I'm sleeping by 10 or 10.30. And then you build a sleep regime around that, which is like an hour or two hours before bed. Train the body to know that it's going to go to bed by 10. Remember, no blue light. Put your blue light blocking glasses on and um, either have a bath or have a shower or clean up the house with your light and your blue light blocking glasses. We don't want the blue light looking at any screens before bed. And, and if you do, if you are going to look at screens, get a blue light blocking glasses so that you can look at screens and still the body doesn't think, that it's 12 o'clock during the day and you can still sleep more on this. Um, we can have a conversation, but really those are how many hours you need. Sorry about the little glitch earlier, but somehow, I don't know, I'm in Mexico and sometimes it glitches once in a while, but not very often. So thank you very much for joining. I really appreciate being here. I am here every Wednesday for you um, and I'm here to give you value. I'm here to answer questions. I'm here to help you burn fat, build muscle, look and feel 10 years younger without starving, without stressing, so that you can live confidently in this new world and have fun doing it. So thanks again. And again, if anyone wants to reach me, please send me a message through Facebook Messenger or um, however way you want to do that. But Facebook Messenger is good. And then we can start a private conversation. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes, I'm glad you like that. Okay, we will see you again uh, next Wednesday. Thanks very much.